Hey guys, so I have another news interview. I am going to be on Global this time, saying, you know, thanks for the donations and stuff like that again. I'm at the library in Shirt Park. We're just trying to decide on where to go. I will introduce you to the person interviewing me in a little bit, and then I will also add my um, news interview on here as well. Okay, talk to you soon. Overnight, 20-year-old Kevin Michael Gagne's world plunged into darkness. Thought I had something in my right eye, so I rubbed my eye. Thinking nothing of it, I went to bed and I woke up the next morning and I couldn't see anything out of my right eye. Six months later, the same thing happened with his left eye. The artery in the back of my eye was burst and started bleeding and leaking into my eyeball, which caused pressure, which crushed my retina. How about there? I can't see that number. Okay, perfect. This disease, unfortunately, is idiopathic, which basically means at this point we don't know what causes it. Kevin lost 95% of his vision. He can only see things very close up. I can see my hand. Here, I can't see my hand. He became depressed. Since I went blind, I lost my lost my apartment, lost my girlfriend, lost my Jeep, lost my dogs, and had to move in with mom and dad again. It went from total independence to absolutely none at all. Then he heard about eSight. I heard the really challenging ones. Seven, two, six, nine, three, five. So they've got two cameras mounted on the front, and those project images to two LCD displays in high resolution right in front of the eyes. From there, using a hand controller, the patient can basically magnify and modify the contrast on anything they're looking at in real time. I could see again. It was the happiest moment of my life this far. The technology came out in 2013, but the latest version of eSight is lighter and easier to maneuver. Having someone who has lost all hope that they're going to have their vision back, to have a device that can restore their independence and their autonomy and allow them to function in the normal world, that's something everyone deserves and a lot of us take for granted. The catch? It's expensive, $10,000 American. Kevin is currently fundraising to buy a pair and start seeing once more. Don't take your eyesight for granted. Being in this situation, I would give anything to have my eyes back. Sarah Krause, Global News. And we have more on this story at globalnews.ca slash Edmonton. Back in February, we introduced you to a Sherwood Park man who went blind overnight. We have an update on how his life has changed since getting a pair of technologically advanced glasses. Hey there, so here is Sarah Kraus. She is a global news journalist. Yes. Here, explain what you yes. are. I am a digital journalist for Global Edmonton, and we've been following Kevin's story. I first heard about him, uh, his mom reached out to us to let us know a little bit about him and the issues that he was having with his vision. And so we did a story with uh, Kevin's optometrist, Dr. Mystery, a couple months ago, and uh, we're really happy to come back today and report and let everyone know about Kevin's progress with the eSight glasses. So there you go, I will be adding the news video in here as well. A young man from Sherwood Park can see once again after losing his eyesight at the age of 20. We first introduced you to Kevin Michael Gagne three months ago. He has an extremely rare problem with his vision and he lost his sight overnight. He had to rely on his family and a cane to help him perform basic tasks. Until he heard about eSight, the high-tech glasses cost $15,000. But thanks to a big fundraising campaign, we have good news to share. Kevin purchased the glasses and has regained his independence. It feels amazing that I can do stuff on my own. I don't have to rely on other people. And I, I love the fact that I can just jump on a bus and go to the gym anytime I want. Since getting the glasses, Kevin has been go-karting, bowling, and bike riding, all things he couldn't do before. He says people often stop and ask him if he's playing a game, but he says he's happy to explain that his eSight glasses are just helping him see again. Hey guys, quick update. This is Keith, uh, older brother of Kevin. He's doing some little stuff. So. Here we go. Walking around, I've been riding my bike, I've been doing everything all over again. It meant absolutely everything to me because I 
I went from having sight having it all to losing everything in a few short months, and then getting the money to get these glasses, it feels like I'm a new person exploring life again. She's gonna walk. Hey guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and click that bell icon for more notifications. And I will see you next time. Have a great day.